We've got a 7 Plus with the notorious audio chip issue. Here's how you know, when you're making a phone call, it won't let you put it on speaker. It's grayed out. Let's get this fixed. So I'll pull the board out and head to the micro soldering room. The problem is under this chip right here. I'm gonna put you guys inside my microscope and get started. So I'll block off the heat with some Kapton tape and a few nickels. Then I'll throw on some flux and heat that sucker up at 895 degrees. And after a few seconds, it just pops right off. Then I'll add more flux and clean it off with my desoldering wick and some more heat. So 90% of the time, it's not actually the chip that's bad. It's four of the connections underneath. There's 144 of them, and it's usually C12, F12, H12, and J12 that go out. So these lines, we have to do essentially neurosurgery to rebuild them. Let me show you. We removed the chip. Now we just have to fix the traces. So we'll expose them, showing the copper. Then we'll throw down some flux and tin those connections up. Then I'll anchor down my jumper wire, which is 0.02 millimeters in diameter, by the way, which is just slightly larger than a human hair. And I'll use that to rebuild the traces, which reinforces the weak point that was created during the manufacturing process. And speaking of the manufacturing process, this motherboard was printed out of a machine, yet I'm over here working on it by hand. Look at that. With all the jumpers done, I just have to clean this up and snip it down to size making sure that the cable only goes to where it's supposed to. These jumpers essentially act as extension cables for broken lines in the audio integrated circuit. And we've removed the chip, installed the jumpers. Now we just gotta clean this up and insulate the connections with some UV mask. Once this green goo is exposed to ultraviolet light for a few seconds, it solidifies and acts as a thermal barrier, securing them in place and shielding them from the elements like the hot air I'm about to use. For our finishing touches, we'll just snip this down a bit more and scrape away any excess UV mask. Then we'll clean this up and slide on over to reflow the balls on the bottom of the audio chip. We'll make sure it's nice and clean. Then we'll slap down some flux, place the chip down and add a little bit more flux as a cherry on top. Then we'll grab our coins, our heat gun, and melt everything back into place. Now we'll give this thing a deep clean, put everything back together, and there we go, it's as good as new. Thank you so much for watching.